The 2015 government plan to change the film tax credit. The proposed change to the current system is this. Convert 75% of the tax credit to non-refundable. Non-refundable. What does that mean exactly? To understand its impact, we need to, again, look at how we finance films. We take our budget, create a single purpose company, calculate the Nova Scotian labor, and then arrive at an estimated tax credit. In the current system, this tax credit is refundable, meaning when the movie is finished, we cash these credits in. Refundable tax credits attract outside investment into the province. But what the Department of Finance wants to do is convert 75% of this rebate to non-refundable, meaning now most of these credits can only be cashed in against taxes owing. But wait, that doesn't make any sense. In order to attract investors, a film must be owned by a single purpose company. And such companies, because they are designed to balance to zero, will never pay taxes. So converting these credits to something that offsets taxes will render most of this tool useless. And if this plan is implemented, Nova Scotia will drop from its current competitive level to the province with, by far, the worst tax credits in Canada. Now, when a project from our $500 billion cloud considers where to shoot, Nova Scotia, with the least competitive tool, will always come in last. Investors and their money will no longer show up. In 2013, Liberal leader Stephen McNeil pledged to support the film tax credit until 2020. And with this current proposal, he keeps that promise we will still have a tax credit, just one that doesn't work. It's like your neighbor promises to lend you his car, and then he takes the engine out. He didn't technically break his promise, but... Without a functioning tax credit, the Nova Scotian film industry, the largest creative economy in the Maritimes, will completely collapse. A loss of over 2,500 jobs across 105 companies. But how do we know that for sure? In 2012, the government of Saskatchewan converted their own film tax credits to non-refundable. Within months, their industry disappeared. Not long after, Sask Film and the Chamber of Commerce conducted an economic study. They declared the decision a mistake, admitting key facts were missing and no consultations were done. The study also found that the net cost to taxpayers was lower than the government had said. For a net investment of just $1 million, the program brought $44.5 million into the province, making their tax credit program an economic success story. But it was too late to reverse this decision. Investor confidence in the region was shattered. The infrastructure dismantled, 850 jobs gone, and Saskatchewan's largest creative economy ceased to exist in under six months.